بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Okay so the solution is we need to have full mesh neighbor relationship which means every router should be a neighbor of every other router within the same AS like let's say this is my AS and i decided to run bgp on four or five routers let's say so this router should be a neighbor of this router this router this router and this router likewise you know full mesh means every router should be a neighbor of every other router within the same AS Uh, of course this full mesh is not really a good option in a service border because maybe in the service border you might be running uh, 20 to 30 routers so there is an alternate solution called route reflectors but mostly in the customer point of view you might be running bgp on maybe two routers or three routers so full mesh won't be a problem so the full mesh says now the router 1 will send update directly to router 2 router 4 and router 3 directly So if you have four routers running BGP so every router must have three neighbors if you have 10 routers in your AS every router must have how many neighbors nine neighbors so that's a kind of full mesh neighbor relationship not a good option in a bigger service for networks but for time being this is something you have to do so which means we need to form neighborship between router 1 router 2 so if you check on the router 1 we already have router 1 peering with router 2 and the router 4 so i need to go and configure one more neighbor statement what is that neighbor so on the router 1 i'm peering with this address and this address so neighbor 2.2.2.2 remote as is 500 and on the router 3 also we have to configure the same thing we have to say neighbor 1.1.1.1 remote as is 500 now remember one thing while you are doing this lab either use these two addresses same direction or use these two addresses same direction okay don't use uh, like this okay don't use like this because there will be some issue with the source we'll talk about this source issue probably in our next labs when we get into the next topics use the same direction addresses and also when you are doing this make sure that you are advertising these interfaces if you remember because these are not directly connected so how they will reach each other through bgp advertisements so again this reachability those things i'll discuss in the next topic a little bit more detail but in this lab there are we are doing some bgp but they are not the best practices we will be using but in terms of basic understanding and configuration this is good for us but again this is not the recommended way you do the neighbors we use loop backs there are some other best practices we'll try to see them probably in our next coming sections similar way i'll try to form the neighborship between 2 and 4 using those addresses So on the router two, I'll say config mode router BGP five hundred neighbor three dot three dot three dot two remote AS is five hundred and on the router four the neighbor is two dot two dot two dot one remote AS is five hundred. So now if you go and verify now, if I say show IP BGP summary. I should see three neighbors, and I'm receiving the routes from all the three neighbors. I can say show IP BGP. Show IP BGP. We'll see this a little bit later. Now you can see I'm receiving the three dot subnet, and this three dot subnet I'm receiving directly from two dot two dot two dot two, which is my router three. Okay, so BGP. There are plenty of conditions we need to understand, and there are solution because of the behaviors. So in our case. we need to make sure that uh, we are, we are going to configure full mesh neighbor relationship like if you have four routers all the four routers must must form neighbors with each other and there is no need to be directly connected means in bgp neighbors not compulsory to be directly connected okay in ospf when we talk about ospf when we talk about neighbors 
we always talk about directly connected routers. That's what we learn in the OSPF or EHRP. But in BGP, you might be forming the neighborship between two routers and in between you may have hundreds of routers. So still, these two routers can form neighbors as long as they have reachability. Again, this reachability is using OSPF or EHRP. We'll talk about this a little bit tomorrow in the tomorrow or the next topic when we get into that. But at this point of time, you need to make sure that neighbors no need to be directly connected with BGP, whether it is internal or external.